guys, how's it going? So we just got back from college. We had all our finals. We're all done with that, and we're back here in the garage and ready to start with a pretty unique build. Yeah, so for this one, the crown jewel is gonna be this Peerless P100 diff. We're doing a mini bike trike conversion with a rear differential so we can turn better. And uh, here's all the fixings for it. So we'll kind of show you what we got and then give you the plans for this thing. So everything you see here is from Go Power Sports, except for this frame kit, which is a Taco Frijole uh, reproduction frame that we got off Facebook Marketplace uh, from a guy who actually watches our channel, Cole. So thank you, Cole. And the diff and the sprocket and brake for the diff. This is from a company called State and Inc. out in Oklahoma. Uh, didn't get this sponsored by them, but we just found this. You could get these cheaper probably off of like a riding mower or an eBay, golf carts and stuff like that. But for us, since we were away, this was the easiest way to get this diff and all the parts. Um, some of the cool Go Power Sports parts we have is the new leading link suspension, which is pretty sweet. I feel like this is like, just adds so much cool factor and it'll give us a little bit of a softer ride. Uh, we also have some other exclusive Go Power Sports parts like this uh, jack shaft adjustable mount. These circular bearing hangers. So lots of really cool stuff here. Big shout out to our sponsor, Go Power Sports. All the links will be in the description, nicely organized. So if you see anything you like, uh, use our link and make sure to tell them we sent you. Yeah guys, we finally got an electric impact. It's been long enough. Efficiency up 100%. Okay, this is pretty cool. Here's our gears. Right. All right, so we added three ounces of grease to this and now we have to swap out these bolts that are in it for these longer bolts because we have a sprocket that fits onto this. And a brake. And a brake, yes. Okay. So here's our diff all bolted together. And this is pretty cool. Not any axle can do that, huh? This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be cool. All right, now we get to assembling the trike frame. Right now, we're just checking the width because this is the smallest of the P100s that they sold. And this should be just a couple inches smaller than the uh, smallest of power sports axle, which honestly, yeah, put that on. So, this is the bottom of the frame. Oh, Dude, the diff fits perfectly. I like it. That's gonna be good. Yeah, it's not too wide. I think that's pretty good. No. And then if we want to wide shorten it a little bit, we could just chop it and then lock it. And to add a little bit of vintage flair and a softer ride, we got the leading link suspension from Go Power Sports. These are some of our favorite stuff. These are in-house design and built parts that Go Power Sports uh, produces, and it's just cool to see new mini bike parts hit the market that are unique. So love this stuff and uh, it'll add a lot of flavor to the bike. Make it a little spicy. All right, so this is kind of the front suspension, steering mock-up with the wheel on. I think this thing's gonna be really yeah, sweet. Yeah, this is gonna look cool. It's kind of got like a tractory feel. Kind of chopper. Kind of chopper tractor. Chopper tractor. A uh, chopper. Okay. Easy. So we just finished notching our tube on the Rogue Fab tubing notcher. It's super great. Um, we just set it to 25 degrees, which is kind of the recommended one. Go Power Switch uses it on their mini bikes as well. And we have our little Harbor Freight angle uh, gauge, and you know, that is right at 25. So that notcher worked great. And look how clean that is. So we'll weld this up, and then we gotta weld this to here. 
and we'll just start kind of sizing everything from there. So we got the majority of the frame tacked together for right now and we're going to do a mock-up with the wheels and tires just kind of see how it's going to look in its final form. So start off with the back and then we'll put that bigger front tire on. Okay, so that's pretty much centered. Ooh, yeah. it's got a bit of a rake. Yeah. Which I guess it'll be more like that. Uh, not much different. So here's something new that we've never used before from Go Power Sports. They have this adjustable jack shaft mount. Um, it basically, you can slide maybe three quarters of an inch back and forth. And it's gonna be super convenient and really easy to use. Um, we don't have to do a bunch of adjusting or getting everything perfect. We can just, you know, have our axle mounted, adjust the jack shaft, and then adjust the engine, and everything will be tight and perfect. So we'll get this tacked up and see how it looks. Okay, so we just finished our jack shaft brackets and the brake brackets, and they're looking pretty good. So we just kind of fully assembled it so we can get a feel for how our seat's gonna look. You know, we got a little bit of front rake, but we kind of like it. We kind of plan on having some rake. And then um, let's see the seating position. Okay. okay, not bad. I mean, I feel like if we hang the seat off a little bit off the back, which I think would look kind of cool and unique, it's actually pretty good. I mean, we got like, infinite leg room. We did our seat mount, looks really good. And now that the seat is in its proper spot, we're gonna mount our tank. We're gonna do something a little different, a little quirky. We're gonna mount it off to the side, um, like so, something like that. So it'll be a little offset, close to the tank. I think it's gonna look pretty different and unique. It's all welded up. And this thing actually looks really cool. We've never really done anything kind of asymmetrical before. The engine we're putting on this thing is, I believe it's a stage four built Tillotson. Uh, we used to have it on the Cafe Racer mini bike, but we're gonna swap it out for a more tame engine on the mini bike because it's so small. Uh, we think this with three wheels, it'll be able to take more of that power. Uh, it's got this awesome cage from Bobby at uh, Metal Fab Creations that replaces the original engine shroud. And it's got a genuine Makuni, whole bunch of Go Power Sports build parts, Go Fast parts. So 
hopefully this thing rips. Okay, so we have the engine bolted down, everything's tight. So we're about to put gas in this thing and uh, we're definitely gonna jack the back up. We don't know if anything weird is gonna happen with anything, but um, we're ready to start this thing. Okay, all right, we're filling her up. tires moving backward while the other's forward. So, let's see. We didn't put steering stops on it just so we could kind of see what's up with the uh, steering radius. And I can say we've never had something turn this tight. That's insane. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it's very, very unnatural. I've never driven a trike before in my life, so it's kind of weird. But, um, I don't know, I kind of like it. It's, it's a very unique experience, I'd say, especially with having the diff and everything. It doesn't feel like a normal, you know, ATV or go-kart. Um, we do need to tune this engine a little bit. It kind of wants to die, so you have to keep revving it. But it's definitely fast and it definitely turns really well, so that's pretty awesome. I'm happy with it. It looks great too.